It's a new week at Doggy Do Good, and the puppies are back on campus. A week is an eternity in the life of a puppy, and if any dogs haven't been working hard on their studies, it'll show. Only the best pups will one day graduate. Puppy prep. Last week, the trainers noticed eight-month-old Kaya preferred the company of people to other dogs. This week, it's beginning to look like more of the same. After a brief hello to the people, however, she begins to play with the other pups. A good sign for her socialization. The biggest change this week is with the oldest pup the dog formerly known as Deacon. Like many of the dogs here, Deacon already has a family waiting for him to finish training. Graduation is never assured, but if he passes, he'll be going to his forever family in only two weeks. Over the weekend, that family informed Doggy Do Good that they want to name their dog, <sighs> Damien. This isn't unusual. Dogs sometimes go through several names before getting their permanent name. And for the pups, it's actually not that big of a deal. The trainers begin transitioning a dog to a new name by using both. For instance, when they want the newly christened Damien to come, trainers will say, Deacon, Damien, Deacon. And when the dog reacts, they praise the dog using its new name. After as little as a few days, the trainers can begin to drop the old name and just call for Damien. After some morning exercise, the dogs leave the paddock for some downstay drills. German Shepherd Tank seems distracted. It appears Karen has a treat. While Kaya and Luke are only mildly interested in the feline, Tank can barely contain himself. This isn't new. During the coming months, Tank will need to work on better suppressing his prey drive. His future family needs to count on him staying focused when he encounters other animals. The moment that trainer Nisi is distracted, Tank makes a move. But he never had a chance. Karen releases the cat, but Tank is shook. It'll be a while before he can regain focus, losing valuable class time. <coughs> Meanwhile, most of the younger dogs appear to be doing well. A frisbee may be tempting, but these pups know it's a trick. As for Remy, after her tough day at the beach last week, Remy needs to be on her best behavior today. It's not looking good. Trainer Karen fetches the eight-month-old Golden and puts her back into downstay. Remy should be growing out of this behavior by now. If she continues to break like this over the next few months, the trainers will have some difficult conversations about her continued enrollment. If Remy's in search of a role model, Damien's her guy. He too used to have problems staying still, but now, even when he's not laying down, he holds his ground. Even when Paul claps for him, until he hears the word release, Damien knows to stay. Damien knows he did well. He is a family waiting for him, and they're counting on this training to help them for years to come. One woman who's thankful for that training is Callie. Callie is blind on her right side, and after being struck by cars she never saw coming, she knew getting a service dog could save her life. Doggy Do Good took Callie's needs and trained Belgian Malinois Kanan to meet them perfectly. 
Maybe you didn't notice, but all the pups in training learned to heal on the left side of a person. Kanan, however, was specially trained since a pup to walk on the right. This way, he can move in front of Callie if something is about to hit her. At 10 years old, Kanan is around the age of retirement for most service dogs. When it's time for Kanan to hang up the harness, he'll live out the remainder of his days, loved by Callie and her family as a non-working pet. To get dogs like Kanan comfortable around traffic, the puppies need to take field trips like the one today. To the bus station. Not all field trips can be to the beach. No matter what, a new location means another local flavor of grass to sample, and also new challenges. They may seem boring to us, but buses are a common reason puppies flunk out of service dog school. The loud noises, cramped spaces, and sudden movements are all huge challenges for a puppy. If a dog can't become comfortable around a bus, there aren't many options left for a puppy other than expulsion. While they wait to work with the trainers around the buses, the pups hold tight near some benches. If a puppy were to break from their downstay and run into traffic, it could be fatal. Because of this risk, all of the dogs are tied up during downstay, even someone as far along their schooling as Deacon. Damien, I meant Damien. One of the first to take a lap around the buses is Luke. As the bus makes noises, Luke is curious, but not frightened. This is a great reaction from the eight-month golden. However, being calm around the buses is only step one. Luke still needs to be able to work. Even though it's loud, he keeps checking in with the trainer to make sure he's not missing any commands he otherwise wouldn't be able to hear. One such command is alert. Alert is triggered by an alarm on the trainer's watch. And while it's difficult to make out with all the commotion, Luke is focused enough to hear it. Another of Luke's special abilities is pressure therapy. Pressure can help calm those with anxiety or PTSD attacks. Since an episode can happen anywhere, even at a bus station, Luke needs to always be ready to spring into action. Great work, Luke. Meanwhile, back with the dogs in Downstay, trainer Paul works with Kaya on her new skill, steady. It's only been a week since she was introduced to the command at the beach, but she's learning fast. The dog with the most experience with Steady is Damien. Today, however, he's practicing his Get It command, and Karen is not making it easy. A slick flashlight. A measuring cup. Even an oversized mug. All pose challenges, but Damien is persistent. His ability to perform his most complex actions with all the distractions of the bus station means he's still on track to graduate in two weeks. Keep it up, Damien. It's Benelli's turn by the buses. At only six months old, Benelli is the youngest of the puppies and the most likely to be frightened. To comfort her, Paul has brought her favorite toy. At first, she's able to retrieve it with no problem. But when the loud bus starts up, there's a noticeable change in the pup. Benelli doesn't finish the retrieval and begins to move away. It doesn't take long though for the puppy to become used to the sound of the engine, so she gets back to her drills. Suddenly, a new noise. Benelli drops her toy, gets low to the ground, and begins to retreat hard. Her only focus is getting away from the bus. Paul recognizes she's scared and immediately tries to encourage the chocolate lab with her favorite toy. But Benelli doesn't respond. Paul gets down to Benelli's level and begins to pet her. Even still, her only focus is getting away from the bus. This is a puppy completely shut down. Her tail is tucked and she's lost all focus. Paul tries to bring her back online by rewarding her for simple down commands, but she continues to ignore her toy. 
A new toy gets Benelli's tail wagging again, but she's still distressed. As Benelli tries to crawl under Paul, it becomes clear the only way to get Benelli feeling better will be to remove her from any side of the bus. Finally away from the noises of the buses, Benelli is soon back to her playful self. When it's time for her to go back to Downstay, she is exhausted. Hopefully this was just a temporary setback for the lab. If she can't learn to face her fear of buses, there's no way she'll pass service dog school. Mr. Pip, it's your turn. The undeniable Mr. Pip has had issues with loud noises in the past. So if he experiences any of the sounds Benelli did, it could spell disaster for the Yorkie. Right away, he's reluctant. And a treat from trainer Karen works only for a moment. When she kneels down to his level, however, Mr. Pip discovers some courage. Mr. Pip, this is not what a good heel looks like. Because it shows confidence, something Mr. Pip has struggled with in the past, the trainer lets him pull ahead sometimes. Unlike his bigger classmates, Mr. Pip poses no threat of pulling his future owners into a dangerous situation. So go ahead and tug. A way to make your size work for you, Mr. Pip. Now, it's our favorite wild cards trip by the buses. Remy. To everyone's surprise, the eight-month-old Golden is doing well. That is, until... The noise frightens not just Remy, but trainer Karen as well. At first, it looks like a similar situation to Benelli. Remy's tail is tucked, and she looks around nervously. Unlike Benelli, however, Remy continues to sniff around and engage with her trainer, even next to the tire. When the bus makes the noise again, Remy responds better, and she continues to sniff curiously. Still, her tail remains tucked, even when the bus pulls away. As she approaches a turned off second bus, the memory of the earlier noise has her scared. Remy will have to overcome this newfound fear of tires to stay in service dog school, so Karen drops treats to build the Golden's bravery. Even though she's still nervous, Remy's bounced back wonderfully. Unlike Benelli, she stayed by the buses the whole time. A great sign for the young pup. Finally, it's Kaya's turn. Sandy, the owner of Doggy Do Good, already has a family in mind for Kaya. This particular placement means Kaya would be around lots of loud noises. That makes today's trip crucial for the eight-month-old Golden. If she reacts to the loud noises like Benelli or Remy, it could mean months added to her training. Months that that family would have to make do without her. Right away, it looks like Kai is doing great. Her tail is up, and when the bus hisses, she merely turns her head. As the bus pulls away, Paul congratulates her on her calm demeanor. Kaya knows she did a good job, and she begins to prance with excitement. She's going to make some family so happy, and I'm going to miss her. It's the end of a long, loud day at the bus station. But there's still one more exercise in store. Very slowly, trainer Paul brings Benelli back to a powered down bus. With no risk of sudden noise, this is the safest time for the chocolate lab to begin overcoming her fear. Paul gets down in her level and gives her lots of pets, helping the puppy to feel safe. Eventually, Benelli walks past the bus with relative ease. It's going to be a long road to bus bravery for the chocolate lab, but with her tail wagging this close to a tire, she's made a great first step. The trainers knew the bus station would be a challenging day, but they're proud of the progress from all of the dogs. For most of these pups, there are still months of lessons ahead. For Damien, however, there are only two weeks until final exams. Will he become a cautionary tale for his younger classmates? Or does he have what it takes to graduate? Puppy prep.